These are interesting specimens because they illustrate how permanent herbarium specimens are. The one on your left was collected by Evan Pugh in 1856 in the neighborhood of Heidelberg. The one on the right was collected by a, a modern German botanist, Ulrich Kuhl, in 2012 from the same general location, the same part of Germany. And you'll note that uh, they are identical, although this specimen has had the experience of being collected in Heidelberg in 1856 and then taken across the Atlantic Ocean and then by train somehow or other to Pennsylvania and then by horse drawn vehicle to uh, State College from Belfont, which is the closest you could get by rail at that time. And uh, this shows that if you dry a plant and press it flat, you've reduced it to almost entirely cellulose and uh, nothing will happen to it if you keep it dry and free from insects and anything that else that might want to destroy it. If you leave it alone, keep it dry, it remains the same. You'll notice that the the paper from this pew specimen has darkened a little bit. That's because uh, there's enough, there was enough lignin in that paper that it makes an acid reaction and has slightly darkened the paper instead of being like the one on the right, which is an acid-free paper and probably will stay white for a long time. If you look at Evan Pugh's specimen, you can see that all he did was record that it came from Heidelberg and the date he collected it. Nowadays, although this isn't even enough information, you at least have the exact location of the place in Baden-Württemberg, Germany, where it came from. That's the, the German state in which um, Heidelberg occurs. And it tells what kind of an environment it was. It tells that the corollas were yellow. Of course, you can see that probably in both of these that the corollas were yellow, but that's not always the case. Sometimes they turn black in drying and you need to know that, and it's nice to record information of that sort. Nowadays, we also uh, are um, obliged to provide the latitude and longitude of the locality, and not just to say that it's in general terms like this. This, this man should really now have a GPS that he can give you the exact latitude and longitude. And the herbarium is full of specimens that we would like to have more information about, but we. They didn't used to give much in the 19th century.